everyone who's seen the Lord of the Rings remembers that first iconic scene that kind of opened the series up. And today I'm going to read you some of the transcript of that first scene, but I'm going to add some things that they forgot. It began with the forging of the great rings. Three were given to the elves, immortal, wisest, and fairest of all beings. But they were all of them deceived, for another ring was made. Deep in the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Soren forged a master ring, and into his ring he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. He called it 14 karat gold, one ring to rule them all. One by one, the free lands of Middle-earth fell to the power of the ring, but there were some who resisted. A last alliance of Mane and elves marched against the armies of Mordor, and on the very slopes of Mount Doom, they fought for the freedom of Middle-earth, and they created the Mane 24 karat gold ring. So my point here is that there's a lot of jewelry companies that have worked hard to make you believe that 14 karat gold is the only way to go and that you can't have 24 karat gold because of soft, it's too soft, and because of various other myths that have been created. But the reality is, is that Monet has come along and resisted this paradigm by creating a ring that allows you to retain all of its value and not be deceived by the Dark Lord Sauron. So I think you should consider owning a 24 karat gold ring for many reasons, but primarily because when you put this ring on, you don't just disappear. 